Hi everyone. Today I will be implementing my in-app billing extension in Koduler. You can buy this extension from AI2 Store application on the Play Store. So, let's get started. For implementing in-app billing extension, your app must be on the Play Store. You can continue testing by uploading your app on the internal testing. Your test APK must contain this extension to create in-app products. Let's move to Koduler now. Today I will be showing you how to add one-time purchase premium in your app. I have already imported and dragged the extension in my Koduler project. I have dragged two labels, one button and one notifier to set up in-app purchase in my app. Now let's code. Starting with the in-app billing implementation, you must first initialize the billing client on the screen initialize event. After initializing the billing client start the connection to start the billing service for proceeding ahead. Once the connected setup finish, the billing client setup finished event will be triggered. On this event we will first query the user purchases to find whether the user has purchased our product or not. For querying purchases, we will use query purchase block. Since we are using one time product in the app then we will query the in app products that user has purchased. When the purchased will be fetched, query purchases response event will be triggered with the list containing all the purchases that user has bought. We will check here that the user has purchased our premium or not. For that we will first declare a variable named premium to store the boolean value. We will initialize it with false value. Now in the query purchases response event we will use is purchased block with this list of purchase and our product ID to get the premium status of the user. Let's initialize another variable named product ID that will store the product ID of our product. We will use it in as purchased block and for getting product details. We will store the as purchased block result in premium variable. Now, firstly we will print the premium variable in a label. Now, if the user has purchased the premium then we will hide the purchase button from the user and if the user has not purchased the premium then we will get the product details of our product to show the title and price of the purchase to the users in a label. Since we are using the in-app product so we will use get in-app product details to get the details of our product. Once the product details are fetched, Got an app product to totals event will be triggered. Here in this event we will print the title and the price of the product in label to show user what they are purchasing. Now we will use the button to initiate the purchase flow. But firstly store these product details params in a variable to use them when the purchase button will be clicked. In the button click event, we will check if the product details variable is not empty before launching the purchase flow. If the product details variable is not empty, then we will launch the purchase flow with purchase block. After setting up the purchase flow, we will use payment listener event block to track the purchase flow. This user cancelled event is triggered when user cancel the purchase, we will simply show an alert here notifying that user cancelled. Now another event is payment failed, it is triggered when the payment is cancelled by the all other reasons. We'll just show an alert notifying that payment failed. Now we will use the purchase successful event, it is triggered when the payment is successful. We will acknowledge our purchase here with the purchase token returned in this event. So we will use the acknowledge block to acknowledge our purchase and will listen for the acknowledge successful event. Once the acknowledge successful event triggers, we will show an alert showing that the payment successful. Also, we will query the purchase again to refresh the user purchase history and for updating the premium status. This block will just fetch the purchase again and will update our UI accordingly. All blocks are now set up. 
Let clean up the code and export our app to test it. I have opened the app now and as we can see it's showing premium false and the product details in the label too. Now we will click the purchase button to purchase the product. It's a test purchase let's click on buy now. Now we got the purchase successful alert means the payment is successful and the purchase is acknowledged now and also the premium label is now refreshed showing true. Let's reopen the app now to see if it's working after closing the app. As you can see it's now showing the premium true meaning that the user has already purchased the premium. So this is tutorial showing how can you add the one time purchase in our app. In the next tutorial. I will showing how to implement and handle multi-plan subscription in your app. Stay tuned and thanks for watching.